Giants got off to an 0-5 start last year. And the offensive line play was dreadful. There's a big reason why they got off to such a bad start. And here in week one against Dallas, Charles Tapper is going to get his only sack of his NFL career. He's going to beat Eric Flowers inside. Manning gets sacked back at the 13-yard line. The number one rule for all tackles is you can't get beat inside. Now, his right foot up's off the ground. He's got no power here. Putting Nate Solder in at left tackle right now will make Eli better. It'll make the Giants better. I just got done saying that the number one rule for tackles is you can't get beat inside. And here, the Patriots want to double Jerry Hughes. And Nate Solder is going to get beat inside. Jerry Hughes has an arm over move, and he's got a clear path here to Tom Brady. But when you get beat, can you recover? Brady thinks about it two or three times, and then is hit back at the line of scrimmage. Watch Nate Solder recover here. He comes back and cuts Jerry Hughes on all four, but he's not done yet. He gets up, and now he's in perfect position to continue to defend the backside of Tom Brady. Nate Solder's an upgraded athlete and an upgraded left tackle for the Giants. Eric Flowers struggled against Ziggy Ansah in Week 2. Now, I think Eric Flowers can play in this league probably at right tackle because when he goes up against elite players like Ansah here, watch him. Once Ansah knocks that left hand down now, look at the position that Eric Flowers is in. He's overextended. He's straight-legged. He's not going to have any ability to recover here and stop Ansah from turning this corner and getting the ball out of Eli's hands. They start 0-2. That's a really bad omen if you want to make the playoffs. And there he goes down again. Eli fumbled 11 times last year. With Nate Solder, they got to cut that in half. Let's watch Nate Solder in the AFC Championship game in the fourth quarter, down 20-10, to going up against an elite rusher in Yannick Ngakwe. Now, watch this stab. Boom. See that stab with the right arm and the right hand to the left shoulder of Ngakwe? It buckles him. Look at the legs. Single-handedly buckles him, stops his charge. Now, once he stops the charge, now he flattens him. Now Brady gets a clean pocket right here. Hines the time. Pulled down. Good catch by Amendola. Giants offense can be a lot better with Nate Solder at left tackle than it was a year ago. It wasn't just Eric Flowers who struggled last year. It was Bobby Hart as well, who's not on the roster anymore. Maybe Flowers can go play right tackle. But techniques get you beat in this business. And the Chargers here are going to drop their defensive tackle. They're only going to rush three players. A three-man rush should never get to the quarterback. You've got five protectors here. Techniques, watch what Bobby Hart is doing here. This against an elite pass rusher in Joey Boza is not going to stop a man who's got more leverage than you, he's got more power, and he's grabbing your elbows. You've missed the punch. You've missed a chance to shock him. Now Boza's going to drive him right back into Eli's lap and get the ball out of his hands. And once again, the ball's on the ground for the Giants. I would like to see that more often if I was the Giants. Manning loses it and covers up. Nate Solder can play one tackle. They still got to find another tackle so this doesn't happen anymore next year.